shot. So please not run up on me, don't run up You have to make it small forward position. You handiness doesn't matter, number doesn't matter, and obviously name doesn't matter. But small forward position. Six foot six. I went six foot six because I didn't want to be too tall and I didn't want to be too short. I put six foot six. This is like the perfect height, especially for a point forward. 230 pounds, 231 pounds. Did 231 pounds, so you don't want to get back down like that. You, your strength also matters. Your weight, I put 230 pounds so I won't get back down to help bully badge and all that stuff. I put wingspan, max wingspan, oh wait, uh, max wingspan, 7'3 wingspan. And then body shape. Oh, I put built, because that's personally what I like putting on small forwards, power forwards, and big men. Usually if I make a guard or a small build under 6'5", I'll go like compact, defined, and stuff like that. But put built on them. Now the stats are just like this. You can, I put 93 drive and dunk, because as you see, you this badge right here. Posterizer. You don't get posterizer on gold unless you get the 93 driving dunk. So I put it like that. Oh shit. I keep on doing it. I always do that. I driving dunk on 93. Driving layup 76. Close shot 58. You don't really need too much of a driving layup. You're going to make layups. And then you'll have the layup badges if that's what you like to do. You'll get the, the best layup packages. 93 for... Uh, posterizer on gold and you get all contact dunks 70 mid-range shot because you don't need that high of a mid-range to shoot you really don't even need that big of a three-pointer to shoot and that's why I only put my three-pointer to 85 still I'm shooting consistently right now y'all will see in the second stream I'll probably streak on the ones or if I get a team together go play twos threes or pro am but 85 three-pointer, shoot consistently with that, all the badges you need. You get limitless range and blinders, dead eye, agent threes. I don't use agent threes because I don't like to fade, but dead eye, blinders, and limitless range, all on silver, which is, in my opinion, perfectly fine. Hold on, let me fix this real quick. I'm tired of this. But like I said, which in my opinion is perfectly fine. I'm shooting very consistent right now. Oh. I'm shooting very consistent right now. I don't know my exact percent, but pretty consistently. And I'm already maxed out on my badges. You get space creator, volume shooter, clutch shooter, slippery off ball, hall of fame, claymore, catch and shoot, guard up, green machine, corner specialist, and amped, all on gold. 18 shooting badges for me is enough. You can make it to where you get more. You can also make it to where you get more shooting badges. You can take this down if you don't want posterizer. And then you can add it up to here, get 19. But I want this, so I get posterizer on gold. 18 shooting badges to me is more than plenty to be able to um, use and shoot consistently. I put a 90 uh, ball handle just so I can have the best dribble moves. Best dribble moves move the quickest. 80 pass accuracy because pass accuracy does matter. I probably didn't need to put it to an 80. Probably put it to a 75 if you wanted to and throw more on defense. But, yeah, you could put it to a 75 and still keep the 20. You could get 22, but I wanted the 23. 90 ball handle, 85 speed with ball because that's what matters, how quick you're going to be dribbling with the ball. Defense, I put 70 perimeter defense so I can get clamps on bronze, 74 steel, 75 block. I am taller, so I will be getting more blocks and stuff. And interior defense, 58. Interior defense this year isn't as bad as, like, everybody puts it to be. It's pretty bad. You don't get that many blocks either way. So, and then interior defense, you don't really got to jump. If you not play defense, you're good. But on the other hand, I get 11 defensive badges, which that gives me Chase the Artist all, on gold, off ball pass to the Hall of Fame, workhorse, ankle braces, box out, menace, and brick wall, all silver and every other badge on bronze. And 
The only badges that I really use on bronze is pick dodger and clamps. So I use I use chase down, off ball pass, menace, and workhorse. And I might throw interceptor on. Still deciding. Oh my god, I keep on doing this stuff. Press and Y. And then um, speed and acceleration. Your speed and acceleration doesn't matter too, too much because it used to matter because your speed and acceleration would be how fast you move with the ball, but now it's speed with ball in the new. So if you have the 85 speed with ball, you'll be faster with the ball. This is more or less just how you run up and down the court. And most people I've seen are making bigger builds and keeping the speed somewhere in the 80s. And I just picked 82, 81, and I've been playing def defense pretty good. Everything's been good. I maxed out my strength, so I won't get back down, and so I get bully badge on silver. So I maxed out my strength to 82. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vertical, I put to an 81, but if you wanted to, you could put your stamina to a 95. And even though you can't edit nothing else in here, you could go and throw it on something else if you wanted to. But I put it on 96 because it was the last thing I upgraded. So I maxed it out on that. You only need like a 93 to a 95 stamina. Don't listen to nobody when they say you need a 96. You're not going to be dribbling for three minutes straight and trying to dump the ball. You only need ni max 93 to 95 stamina. Like I said, I put it to 96 just because that was the last thing I upgraded. And then vertical, you need an 81. You need at least over 80 to get better badges. Well, not badges, to obviously jump higher, get better dunks. The higher vertical you have, the better dunk packages you'll get and stuff like that. But the badge count comes to 14, 18, 23, 11. Six foot six, 231, 73 wingspan with 14, 18, 23, 11. I made this build because I like to ISO, I like to shoot. And dunking is not that hard this year. This year. It, even though it's never really that hard, dunking's not that hard at all. So I still get very good dunks. Plus 93 driving dunk. Still get all the contacts. With posterizer and women's takeoff on gold and bully on silver. Those are really three of the badges you need for dunking. So I get all those. Shooting badges are great. Playmaking badges are perfect. I get every single playmaking badge. So, as you guys can see, the only bailout, mismatch, expert needle, and threaded handles for days. That's the only part I don't like. You need a 94 ball handle for it on gold, but on silver, it, it does damage on silver, I promise you guys. Plus, you get quick first step, hyperdrive, unpluckable, and killer combos. Uh, clamp breaker, dimer, floor general, you get all the good, really good badges that you need for dribbling. Plus, with the stamina at 96, it's going to be harder for you to lose stamina with, and handles for days only on um, silver, so it works out pretty good. And on defense, like I said, the defense badges ain't bad. It's not hard to play defense. You just got to know how to do it. And then after that, the takeovers I used well, wasn't that. I got slashing and sharpshooter. I got mama mentality, so I was able to switch it to sharpshooter, but these are the badges I was pick. And if you don't want to use slasher, you could use playmaking. I don't like shot creating. Shot create. They didn't give us all the uh, takeovers that they give to next gen on current gen. This is a current gen build, by the way, in case nobody know. They didn't give all the takeovers for us like they did next gen, but that's fine. We still got the main, main ones. You can't get lock take on this build, at least not the way I made it. I would prefer lock take and spot up, but slasher and spot up are the best ones that I say for this because you get extra boost on finishing at the rim so better contacts you, I was getting contact dunks when I had a 80 driving dunk I didn't even have an 84 at the time I didn't right now I have an 86 on my main build on my build that I have upgraded same build as this one I have an 86 on it right now but I was getting contact dunks at an 80 with the slasher take spot up shooter just improves the shooting people say shooting's hard this year I don't think it's that hard but it is it takes a lot more skill to play the game so these two badges help you get the job done better finish your build comes out to a three point point forward and I know I've seen people make this build 
make this build 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and 6'9", but I didn't want to be too tall because then you would be playing center position. I only have 11 defensive badges, but I could still, even with the 11 defensive badges, I still lock down post scores on the 1v1 court. I still guard very good defense on guards, big men. I could guard everything. And then this is a nice little... I, I don't recall who Lou Hudson is, but... The first two, very, very great. Shades of Anthony Edwards and Andrew Wiggins, both very good dunkers, efficient scorers in the NBA. But yeah, uh, wait, test build, edit build. Nah, but yeah, this is the build, 3.4, best build in current gen. I don't care what nobody has to say, it's the best build on current gen, no matter what anybody says.